puppies into three groups. Members of the first group were treated kindly every time they approached a researcher. Members of the second group were punished for approaching the researchers. And puppies in the third group were randomly treated kindly or punished. They grew up never knowing what to expect. Their world was not a world of kindness or punishment, but rather one of uncertainty. What's really chilling is that the study found that that group, the third group of puppies, wound up being the most attached to the researchers. The third group loved the researchers the strongest and was the most dependent upon them. Guy Murchie called this the polarity principle. Stress, including the mental stress of uncertainty, is an ingredient in attachment or love. And perhaps even manifestations of hatred, its polar opposite, somehow enhance love. Uncertainty, psychologically, can lead to some of the greatest feelings of attachment and dependence. Good things and bad things in our lives often seem random and out of our control. So it's no surprise that we often react with blind love and acceptance in the face of an unfair existence, because what else are we supposed to do? We are that third group of puppies. But investigating uncertainty, conquering it so as to make the best decisions possible is advantageous. So over time, life has favored activities that turn uncertainty into knowledge. Not every person out there is the best mate for you. But if it didn't matter which one you picked, a kiss, a taste test, wouldn't be necessary, and it wouldn't need to feel so good or bring us so much pleasure. So go out there and kiss someone today. And as always, thanks for watching. By the way, tomorrow I am headed to the European Space Agency's spaceport in South America with Euronews to watch a rocket launch in real life. Do you have any questions about space or space travel today? Let me know in the comments below and I will ask the experts your questions. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. On Earth, the average piece of currency changes hands about 55 times a year. That's about once a week. With that kind of turnover, it's safe to say that statistically, in the United States, out of every 100 pieces of currency, one